Oh, what's going on toxic gamers gamers are literally not stopping when i say they're not stopping i mean you can see what's happening right now they are not stopping man we had the ghost of uh, bbc situation assassin's creed bbc situation right ghost of yore ghost of tampon situation and man like people are just going crazy right now i got a bunch of stuff that i want to share with you guys and I, I think this one is gonna open up your eyes it might open up some other stuff as well Bruh. you know what i mean like the video if you love your mama like the video if you love god let's go for two likes on the video guys and uh, shout out to the homie andy pants gaming roll it well, boys, another week, another crop of gay and retarded games being shoveled into the piggy trough by Microsoft. All you need is help. Dive into a quirky multiplayer co-op puzzle game where adorable, fluffy, cube-shaped creatures collaborate to reach their goals. These creatures, yeah. each oddly shaped, jostle against each other. No, no, I do agree. If you have RTX 3090 and seeing games like that, I mean, of course, bro. Like, what are we, like, what are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? But if it's not pushing agendas, then I guess it, it could be, like, good to buy for your kids but can a brother also perhaps get games that are good for me too right like damn together to help solve puzzles together like huh xbox this is the trash you expect me to play i grew up in an era where xbox fall lineup was like splinter cell max <clears throat> pain the saboteur that's right little piggy gobble down the gay communist slop xbox is feeding you like a good little sheep guys in case it's not clear we live in clown world now and it's all the fault of liberal cut men who have allowed this <laughs> yo, because somebody yo, uh, is continuing to play these games. Yeah, shout out to Kira for subscribing. Appreciate it, gang gang. So if you are seriously still denying that there has been a demasculinization and a pussification of games the past 20 <laughs> years, you are either coping, gay, or straight up lying. Uh, ah, hey, whoa, hey, tranquilo, papi. Yo, papi, chill, papi. Hey, whoa, like, hey, tranquilo. But 2004, you had Red Dead Revolver. San Andreas, man, bro, like, this this was the game, bro. This was the game, man. This was the game, man. And, you know, we got the Assassin's Creed. I see the BBC right there. Salute to Captain BBC. So, and, and you got Ghost of Tampon there. You got Star Wars as well, right? Which they said this game is gonna be like the Red Dead Redemption, but in space. Bruh. Yeah, they said the Star Wars is like Red Dead Redemption, right? Ubisoft saying that their game is gonna be like Red Dead Redemption. Get mama with that, bro. Lying to yourself. Get mama, bro. Or perhaps you're funded by China and their secret plot to overthrow masculinity in the West to make the male populace weaker for when they invade. I'm not sure. Anyway, the last time I did this video, some of you guys thought I was being selective and handpicking games from 20 years ago that look masculine just to make present day games look worse. I wasn't, but just to avoid that argument, here's what I'm doing. I am okay. picking four games that Xbox is releasing to Game Pass right now. These are clearly games they expect us to play. Now I am going back exactly 20 years and I'm looking at what Xbox was releasing around the time of October 2004. What I believe we will see is the obvious feminization, the obvious pussification of games that has happened the past 20 years. And guys, if you look at everything else that came out in fall 2004, it's insane the number of titles I'm leaving out. I mean, Half-Life 2, Tony Hawk's Underground, freaking KOTOR, it's insane. It, you, it, it is right and this is the example that i always use like back in the days it, it felt like that you had so many games coming out i remember like just uh, you know back in the days when i was a kid right like that i'm talking about decades ago I, i'm 28 right now pushing 30 man sadly 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 you know i'm probably the oldest dude you let me know how old are you guys in the comments below i'm probably the now i know i'm not the oldest but like damn 28 pushing 30 sheesh man i remember like a decade ago decade and a half ago Oh, when I would get pocket money, yeah, pocket money, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Would get twenty dollars per week by my dad, and I would have to like really like plead, you know. Some weeks I would save all that up, and um, you know, around Boxing Day I would buy like five games. No kidding, no kidding. I would go like buy five games. Back in the days, like twenty dollars Canadians were worth something. Nowadays, bro, like even twenty USD is not worth anything. And you talk about Canadian $20, oh man, miss me with that, bro. Like, yeah, bro, inflation and crap that's going down. Yeah, of course, right? But back in the days, it was a real struggle to, like, you know, because there were so many good games. You were like, hey, I want to buy this, I want to buy that, I want to buy this. And this year, bro, uh, what was the last game I bought? Uh, yeah, I, I don't remember. Shit, man, I don't remember what was the last game I bought. I seriously don't remember. So far, I have not pre-ordered Black Ops 6. I'm like 50-50 with it because the zombie maps, it did look good. And then when they reveal the gameplay, it don't look good. So I'm like 50-50. Played the multiplayer, I would say it I It I It's better than Concord. It's better than uh, Dustmark. Come on, guys. Like, come on, man. Like, bro, it is better than Concord and Dustmark. 
you know I'm not lying. A lot of you guys think that I'm just like capping, or uh, a lot, a lot of you think that nah, bro, Concord or Dustmorn. I think that's what you guys are thinking, bro. Pro probably not, probably. But but yeah, see what I'm saying? Like it, it was better than Concord and Dustmorn, bruh. So I'm like 50-50 right now. You but might say, but 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 you're comparing Inky games with AAA games. Look, dude, I don't care what you want to call these games or how you want to classify them. All I know is I sit down at my Xbox and these are the games available to me facts, in October facts, 2004. Facts, facts, facts. Meanwhile, these are the yeah. Gamers don't care. They just hop on the Xbox or PlayStation and and they see what's going around on YouTube or I would say Summer Game Fest E3, which don't exist. Summer Game Fest or PlayStation, but PlayStation reveal events, Xbox reveal events. Gamers are there to see good games. It doesn't matter if it's coming from Double A, Triple A, Quadruple A like Ubisoft, Bruh. right? Or or indie projects. For example, Stellar Blade was an indie game. Uh, that monkey game was an indie game they turned out to be good and people loved them and uh, you know they blew up why because they were good games simple as that suckers don't care though we just want to see good games we don't want to see trash games like that i mean yes i do agree that you gotta have games for there are different audiences so games sometimes games like that are all right but when all your games are like that then it's a problem you know games phil spencer and his squad of gay men think that i actually want to play in october 2024 so i'm highlighting a disconnect here in video games now from video games 20 years ago and people can't seem to come to terms with it all right let's let the embarrassment begin and we're starting with wargroove 2. steam says this trouble here on the shores of ariana an ambitious new faction has unearthed forbidden relics capable of catastrophic consequences but how far will they go to achieve glory Dear God, like Xbox, you expect me to play this? This is the kind of game you see on that little Bruh. screen at Chili's that you pay your check on. Like, really, Phil, we do an Applebee's games now? Bro. All right, and let's compare this game with something that came out the. Man, and listen, man, I might be. Uh, I feel like that if you have one game out of 10 like this, then it's odd. But when you have eight games looking like this out of 10, then we have a clear problem. Like, damn! Damn! What are we doing, man? Imagine having PS5. Imagine PS5 Pro is coming out. Oh, Skizzle. Oh, Skizzle, bro. I'm in the future, man. I got PlayStation 10, bro. Imagine you having PlayStation 10 and seeing games like that. What the hell are we doing here, man? Imagine you got the Xbox Series 30 or some crap like that. RTX 50 billion and having games like that. Bro, like, damn, man. Come on, man. In Urdu, real quick. The exact same month Bruh. in 2004, Halo 2. Following the destruction of Halo, humankind experiences a short-lived victory. Eager for revenge, the Covenant launches a surprise attack on Earth. Halo 2 is one of the greatest games on Earth. Back in 2004, I was in college and living in a house of guys. We would literally just crowd around the screen and take turns grabbing the mic and roasting people. Oh, side note, guys, did y'all see that Call of Duty turned on? Yo, what mic? What mic are we talking about? No Diddy, bro. No Diddy. I'm just saying, man. Damn. Call of Duty added back in voice chat on by default. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> what? Public proximity chat. It's like active. Oh, side note, guys, did y'all see that Call of Duty turned on public proximity chat? It's like Activision is starting to figure out where their bread is buttered. Like, why yeah. has proximity chat ever been turned off in a video game? It's so they remote yeah right i remember when people complained about it whoa so they added that back i mean one thing i know for the factor is that hey, 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 hey. I, I remember like i yeah they never removed the friendly bbc online right but they removed this this is crazy guys but on a side note I want to show you guys this, all right? And real quick, guys, I need to shout out to you guys. Shout out to the homie D Lacey locally. Uh, shout out to Hailman, Duffy, Chantel, uh, G Sigma. Shout out to all of you for following over on the Instagram. If you do have an Instagram, I would love to have you there. Link in the pinned comment. Consider becoming a member as well if you guys want to help support the channel. But shout out to the homie Asman. We're going to get back to it. But yeah, before I forget about it, check this. This is insane, too. Like, I saw this. This is actually... So, for a minute, I actually felt bad for the developers of this game. So, Suicide Squad, they brought out a trailer. A new Zoe Lawton DLC. There's a new DLC. And it's releasing to less than 300 people. Like, you are making content for basically fucking nobody. 261 people playing the game. 
Uh, the only positive I have here about it is that at least it beat Concord and Dustborn combined. At low points, it's under 100 people. Look at Rocksteady's uh, Twitter page. They're not even promoting their own game. They haven't said anything. They, they didn't post anything about this. They don't yeah, care. they just like, they, they don't tweet anything <laughs> about this. Uh, uh, yeah, nothing at all. Like, I want. They're busy about pride. They're busy about promoting pride. They're not. That's crazy, right? They're not even talking about the DLCs. They're working for their games. They don't care. They don't care. But. Brad. I wonder why Warner Brothers, like, because it costs money to have, like, a whole yeah. development team. Yeah. Like, they're losing, like, millions of dollars on this. Facts. I guarantee you, they're losing Facts. millions of dollars on this every month. Uh, just take it out to the back of the barn and, and put it out of its fucking misery. Just shut it down. Save the money, guys. Like, holy crap. Like, look at Concord PlayStation. They were like, okay, we out, fam. Deuces, we out. <laughs> we out, bro. So be like Sony, be like PlayStation, just peace out, bro. Like, damn. Like, it's just embarrassing for everybody. It's sad for the developers. It's sad for the players, the IP. It's bad for, just, yeah, bro, yeah. do it a favor. Just concord it. Th this is what they should yeah. do. Take, get rid of the whole game. Yeah. Delete all evidence Holy. of the game. Send a copyright takedown request to every single piece of media on the internet. Yo, yo, yo relax, dude. And hopefully hey, in five hey, years. Whoa, hey, hey, tranquilo, papi. Yo, papi, chill, papi. Papi, chill, bro. Tranquilo. Everybody will forget that it happened. They're obligated to release up to season five. That's just sad, bro. 248 Steam players. They got uh, a whole development. That makes sense why they're not promoting on Twitter. Because first of all, they don't care, but they still keep on developing. That don't make sense. But what makes sense there is that they're obligated to do it. So they're like, let's just keep developing it. And on Twitter, let's promote Pride, which is okay. You want to promote... I, I would say just shut it down completely and promote Pride, bro. Like, yeah, like, why make video games anymore, right? Like... I'm in studio doing this, and it's just... It's just sad, man. I, I feel bad. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yikes. But I right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. You know, I know why. It's because people are gay, and they're sensitive, and they don't want their fifis hurt. But um, it, it was cool to see that Call of Duty has turned that junk back on because they realized that there's like been a serious decline of masculinity in games. So anyway, back to Halo 2. The campaign is incredible. The multiplayer is incredible. There has never been anything like Halo 2, nor will there be anything quite like Halo 2 in the okay. future. Now fast forward, and Xbox, who is supposed to be releasing something just as good as Halo 2 in 2024, is like, uh, do you want to move some colored block? Phil, you're trash, dude. You're a cop. Bruh. This is why nobody is buying Xboxes. All right, next game. We love Katamari. The Man. shop at nothing pushing. Pr I don't think we love Katamari, whatever the name is. I don't think we love it, bro. I don't Cringe think we love it. Cringe is back and ready to re-roll. When the king of all cosmos accidentally destroys all the stars in the sky, he orders you, his pint-sized princely son, to put the twinkle back in the heavens above. Now, yes, I fully understand this is a remaster or a sequel of, ironically, a 2004 game, but it's still really, really gay. Like, Katamari Damashi is a very gay game, and they chose to remaster it, and that says something. They could have remastered The Saboteur right now. They could have remastered a masterpiece. They could be remastering the absolute Chad game, Max Payne 1, but no. Okay, at this point, to be honest, Sony re, 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 remastering The Last of Us don't look that bad, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? At least, okay, at least, yo, please, Phil. Phil, please gaming like come on man I, I i'm also gonna say playstation please can a brother can a brother what a brown man gotta do and you guys don't seem to believe me when i say this huh here you can a brown man get it can a brown man get it can a brown man <laughs> can a brown man get some good games man man y'all look is crazy oh they're remastering a game in which you put the twinkle back in the heavens above Let's compare this with one of the manliest games ever made, Red Dead Revolver. The box reads, you live as a bounty hunter, bringing criminals to justice while struggling to oh. unravel the mystery of your past. You must find those who murdered your family and take your re revenge. Guys, look, I understand that Phil Spencer is throwing us dudes a scrap by giving us Indiana Jones and yeah, Stalker yeah. 2 this fall, but Indiana, uh, Indiana Jones is for like modern audience to confirm that, right? So it's not for gamers. Stalker 2, okay, yeah, but, but that's it, but, but that. <laughs> But that's it, guys. Man, holy, for PlayStation, what are we getting this year? Nothing, right? That's right. Nothing. Holy crap. Damn. Damn. Yeah, right? Like, I, I think it might just be, like, a couple of indie games. Uh, 
maybe fair games we're gonna get which is considered to be concord 2 i think this year they were like banking pretty heavily on concord being like the ultimate playstation like the biggest playstation game for this year on the levels of spider-man i mean for crying out loud like i was the homie near Shinema, i mean what we heard is that they they spent over 400 million us dollars on it and spider-man 2 was somewhere around 300 or 200 300 some million oh, shit. Oh, so shit. consider that concord was bigger it was supposed to be bigger than spider-man 2 man what are we talking about man what are we talking about bro it was supposed to be bigger than spider-man damn this look is crazy bro eight years and uh uh it was supposed to be herman house baby that's what we heard and then herman host became a ceo yeah i guess believe that believe that he's the ceo and he pushed for concord to come out it was considered to be his baby eight years in development and couldn't even break uh, couldn't even break more than 700 people on steam like damn they 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 couldn't even make a million dollars back and they spent 400 million and then they removed the game issued refund for everybody and lost it all lost it all that's one thing to never do guys Indiana Jones is likely going to be full of girl boss wokeism and Stalker 2 is probably going to be the only good Xbox release this year that's good at all. Y'all need to understand the difference here because Dang. we had like 10 awesome games come out in the fall of 2004, 20 years ago. Holy and there's like, yeah. like one, one or two good games coming out this fall, like Space Marine 2, yeah. uh, Wukong, like what else is there, dude? And now we're- And, and yeah, Black Myth Wukong, right? That's, yeah. I, I guess that's like the, the big PlayStation game right now, but technically it's gonna be on Xbox. So far it's not, I guess, right? But it's supposed to come out. Maybe it's gonna, but yeah, okay. But man, like back, uh, uh, what's the last game you guys bought? Let me know in the comments. Being asked by games to put your twinkle back in your heavens. Like, come on, dude. And this is exactly what I mean when I say that the LGBTQ mafia has ruined our hobby. And it's because y'all let them, dude. We let them. All we can do is to stop playing these gay games. That's how you stop this. Oh, and I barely talked about Red Dead Revolver. It's an awesome game. It's all right. Here's the next gay game we're talking about. All you need is help. Dive into a quirky multiplayer co-op puzzle game where adorable, fluffy, cute shaped creatures jostle against each other to help solve puzzles together. Like, I'm sorry, but if you got off the shift at the steel mill doing backbreaking manual labor all day and your first thought is, I can't wait to play with adorable cube shaped creatures. I hate to break it to you, dude, but you're gay. You're definitely getting railed by your boyfriend while you play with your adorably fluffy cube shaped creatures. And you know, I get it. This game is aimed at children or whatever. But like I said, we had 10 badass new games coming out at the same time. Yeah, the problem is, um, and of course, if this game is not pushing agenda, this game might be fun to buy for your kids and hell to maybe even play games like that i'm not opposed to that idea like if you want to play games like that yeah cool go for it right but at the same time where are the games i'm not considering this to be a game it's a game but no joke jokes aside though i feel like that if one game out of 10 or maybe even two or three games out of 10 are like this okay but if eight games out of 10 are 10 games are like this, then what what the hell is going on in the gaming gaming industry, bro? Why can't we get better games? You guys got PlayStation 5 Pro coming out. Series X, the the world's most powerful console, said by Xbox, but said by Microsoft. And listen, I believe that it's it has it's capable. It's capable uh, to do <laughs> to play games, okay? PlayStation as well, like, and these things got like NASA like computers at the studios. These things got all the manpower. These things got all the billions of dollars. These things got like the resources and they're working. They got AI, the power of the AI, the power of the AI. The AI will save us, right? They got the power of the AI to make video games, and we get this. We get not this, which are what you're saying, but we get this in the background like, 20 years ago hell, and now man. we have none so if you deny that and we get this yeah that's what i'm talking about industry is gay now i think you're just lying um so what based game shall we compare this with oh just possibly the greatest game of all time gta san andreas released october 2004. san andreas is edgy as hell it's interesting it has humanity and it's just an incredible story with lots of twists and turns it Facts. almost makes a tear come to my eye to think about mm. what we've lost since 2004. Man, like the, playing this game all the way back then with my console peasant eyes as a, as a kid playing that with my console peasant eyes, this looked like real life, guys.
It's like, I, I feel like I'm about to cry, bro. Like, damn, man. Damn, man. Yeah, bro. The, let, let the feels come in, guys. Let the feels come in, bro. Let the feels come in, man. It's all right, guys. It's all right. Damn. I can't tell it's you right. how many hours we spent with like four guys crowded around the screen on this game, seeing what kind of junk and mayhem you could cause in this game back in the day. Everybody I went to school with would talk about it. People would come over yeah. to people's houses to play it. It was incredible. I mean, seriously, what's the last time you had a friend come over just to play a single player game? So yeah. these days, Xbox is out yeah. here shoveling gay cube shaped puzzle games on us when they should be funding games like GTA San Andreas. All right, on to the last game, Trials of Mana. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna be triggered by this because you love anime, and I too remember playing Secret of Mana as a child and loving it. And furthermore, I can't speak to the story of Trials of Mana because I haven't played this game and I'm not gonna play it. But this art style is gay, dude. This is a gay art style and I can't get into this game. Now, you might like childhood games with more of a kitty art style. That's cool, do you. But to me, this art style ruins this game and it looks very gay. That's just my opinion. I mean, you can even zoom out and look at the art style of the eight games we've been talking about here, and everything from 2004 looks way more badass, way more masculine, uh, way yeah. more cool. I, I mean, that's a given. Absolutely, bro. Man, where has time gone, bro? Why are they, these suckers doing that, bro? Yeah, okay. A and I guarantee you, right? Like, uh, if one game is like this here, let the other three games be something good, something like manly, something for the gamers right like this one okay i buy my if it's not if it's not pushing agendas i buy my kids that and yeah and maybe i play alongside them too and just chill out once in a while all right but like for the rest of it bro like damn i i, I want some of these games right like imagine you, you going you going out for work I, I don't know what you do but if you want to let me know what you do for work uh, in the comments below so yeah, you whatever you're doing for work, you do that, you come home. I mean, like, what are we doing, man? What are we talking about? You really want to play games like that? <laughs> Imagine, like, coming home and playing games like that. It's over, guys. Whatever you do, do not watch this video. Insane news just came out. Massively just happened, guys. Uh, and the ghost of Yore turned out to be ghost of Tampon, though. And we're hearing that they canceled Ghost of Tsushima 2. To push an agenda with this game is what we're hearing. Do not watch this video. Absolutely don't. Check out the video on the left and I'll see you right there.